What's up all my Power Addicts crew? Today on Whatever Wednesday, we are taking apart a... Ta da That's what's left of it anyway. Y'all have no idea what that is, do you? Some of you may though. Some of you may. Some of you may recognize, hmm, that's an inside of an electric motor of some form. You are correct, it is. How about another clue? Do y'all recognize that part now? That's right. We have a cooling fan, electric cooling fan out of a Cherokee, so we're gutting it today on Whatever Wednesday. If this is your first time on Power Addicts YouTube channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I do Jeep videos, car videos, motorcycle videos, tool videos, who knows what videos. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single video. You will be notified. Thank you. First thing first, let's get that fan blade out. back and be something to knock it out with. It don't want to come out the right way so hey we'll come out it coming out one way or another. It takes tougher than it looks. One. Okay, now what we gotta do? You can see the windings inside there, and it still kind of turns. <laughs> I beat the crap out of it. All right, so what we gotta do now? Let's see. I've never taken one of these parts. I'm not sure what to do. Looks like I gotta get those tabs up and out of the way right there. There's little tabs right inside there. Looks like I gotta get those things bent or something. So let me get to something to see if I can do some damage. Pry this rascal up. It comes out there, it goes back plate, and it's got a brass. Don't have a roller bearing side, it's just a brass bushing, a bronze, or who knows what. Now, here you can see got the coils. Here is the brushes right here, and they're spring loaded because they constantly rub. On the armature right here. They send the electrical current through there, which sends electrical current through the wiring, the winding inside here, which we hopefully will see here in a moment. And it creates little electrical pulses with opposing magnets inside there, which makes it spin. And this fan's got some age on it too. If you look real close, right here on the armature, it's got a ridge right there, a pretty deep ridge, matter of fact. That's why these brushes are spring loaded. Because as the brushes wear, the spring pushes the brushes in against the armature here. And as the armature wears, the springs are pushing the brushes against the armature. So as each one of the items wear the brushes and the armature here, it's always constantly pushing against it to maintain contact. So let's see if we can get this up now. And this is also where your wires are going to be connected in. So I may have to, yeah. Yep. Uh, going to get me some uh, wire cutters. Be right back. Check these plugs and plugs might be good for some. If I find the other end of them. Because either these are what you call weather packs. Got the rubber seals right here. So when you get the other end, you snap them together, they become water resistant. 
and so no matter how much you submerge them, whatever, or rain, whatever, it prevents the water from getting into the electrical contacts. You can order these contact these uh, connectors all by themselves, and they're called weather pack connectors. And this, which this one does not fit this one because they're always uh, shaped different. See how this one's kind of got that little notch right there? This one does not have that notch, so this one will not fit in there. But if it did, this rubber seal would fit around that flat area right there. That's how weather pack does their seal. So let's pull this out. That going. It's going out one way or another. I got need for you. There we go. And you get a little close up there again. You can see the brushes here. And there's your springs here that were pushing the brushes against the armature. There's your positive, negative for your wiring. And you see that each one of the brushes are by this braided copper wire right here. And again, there's your spring top side that pushes the brushes against this. And the brushes, if you look real close, you can see those grooves. They set inside this flat plate right here those grooves sit inside there to allow them to stay tracked in the right position like so and see I can't pull it up and down but I can slide it back and forth because it's riding with inside those tracks right there pretty cool alright now we got our armature and our windings and stuff like that now this might be interesting to bring it out of there because I beat this thing up a little bit, so I gotta see if I can get this off first. Let's see if we get lucky enough to pull that out. So I wanna see what kind of magic I can make happen to get this out of there. Got it. I really should have had the camera on, because what was going on, of course, this thing was stuck, it was on there, and my screwdriver, I've used my screwdriver so bad. That's the reason I don't buy expensive screwdrivers. I just use them for everything but a screwdriver. So I had them underneath there and I'm pushing, I'm pushing, I'm pushing, I'm pushing down on it real hard. I put my weight down on it. All of a sudden this thing turns loose. It's like it just vanished. It just disappeared. I'm like, where did it go? And all of a sudden it landed on me probably about an inch behind me. It just almost barely hit the top of my shop and come down almost hit me right in the tail. Okay, that's off. Now can we pull the armature out is the question. Nope, because if you look real close, if I get the camera, if I hit the tripod, there is a key right there little clip I gotta take that clip off right there and this should be able to pull the uh, windings and stuff out of it so I'm gonna get my screwdriver so I can get that clip off there see if it be cooperative or not hold this thing so quit turning I got my hand back here holding this to prevent it from turning so I can push that key off, hopefully. Now, if I actually use the right tool, it would work a lot better. Called a snap ring pliers. It works so much better. But now i got to do it the complicated way. Because it's fun tearing up stuff. Especially when I know it ain't going back together. Okay, I've almost got it. Get off of it. Yeah, I got it. Now, do, do we get, does it come out now? Wire. Okay, we got a bearing right there that's riding on now, so... At this point, I want to see if I can smack the out of it, see if it comes out of there. But what we got to do is, we got to keep this off the floor, otherwise it will not come out. Uh, so what am I going to do that with? Uh, what's around me? Oh, I can hear it now. Y'all freaking out. Those of you know who knows what that is. main caps you can't do that yes I can because that's an old it's come off an old engine so it don't matter I almost 
got it. Oh, whew. Okay, so what I had to do, I put those right there, those main, uh, engine main bearing caps around this right here to keep it off of the ground. So as I hit with the hammer, this wasn't touching the ground, so it allowed it to slide out of there. Or this wasn't touching the ground, should I say. Because if it was hitting the ground, of course, I'd be no, doing nothing but hitting shaft end to end. Wouldn't do me no good. So by supporting it, it allowed it to slide out of that bearing. So here's what you get there. And that's actually a roller bearing there, I believe. Yep, sure is. Right here is your magnets. And as those brushes pass electrical current through this armature, through these, uh, through right here, it creates electrical current inside here. Each one of these posts right here has a, it creates an electrical field or a magnetic field, causing it to oppose these magnets. And each one of these posts push away from that magnet all the time. So as it does that, as it's pushing away from those magnets, it's turning that shaft. You see the magnets pulling that rascal inside there. As it's the opposing magnets and the current is pushing away from each other, constantly in a rotation, therefore spinning the fan. Pretty interesting. Some doggone strong magnets. What if we get that out of there? What the heck's that? Ah, we got little metal clips holding them in there. And there's a magnet. Now I'm not getting the magnet too close to the camera. I'm not sure if it'll totally like uh, cause it to freak out and tear up my camera and I'd have to buy another one. That would not make me happy. But yeah, I'm gonna keep that magnet around right there. That might come in handy. Let's see if it sticks to my lockers. Bing! Straight to my locker. Let's get that one out. Okay, I can see I already wanna be careful because you get your finger behind there, you might just get pinched. Another magnet, locker, bingo. I like magnets because they come in handy for so many different things. That's kind of fun actually. I'm easily amused though. Just throw it up there's kind of darts smacking the lockers with me because ding and sticks. And another magnet. Not much left of that. Okay, that's junk. I'll throw that in trash. And there's the backing plate and the little clips that were holding the magnets in place. And let's look closer to the armature. Get up here close. Now you can see all the little wires that go in here. Make a series of wraps around through here. You see how this right here, this wrap goes from here to who knows where. Up here it goes right down here, I think. Nonetheless, it wraps around through there and it creates electrical currents, which, like I explained a moment ago, as it creates electrical currents, it's constantly causing the electrical current causes a magnetic field. The magnetic field opposes the magnets that I was just throwing at my locker. It pushes it around like they were there, which makes your fan spin. Ta da! There you go. That's the inside of a uh, Jeep Cherokee fan. Come out with a, uh, I think it came off of a, uh, 95 model XJ, I believe it was. There you go. That was fun. So what would you think about today's Whatever Wednesday? Pretty cool turning the electric motor apart. Those of you who have never seen the inside of an electric motor, I'm sure you guys may have learned a little something from it. Um, I've dealt with electric motors off and on throughout life. When I was a small kid, I say small kid, I was probably about 15 years old. Not far from where, I, not far from where my dad lives, there is a... Um, building that's been every kind of company in the world throughout the years at one point it was an armature company to where they would remanufacture armatures for starters and alternators and things like that there was one part of the job that was just tedious and boring as heck and sometimes you no know, a kid would come in and want to make a little extra side money they would give them a uh, um, air chisel and we'd knock all the uh, copper would hook the air chisel like on the edge of that copper right there first thing we would do would cut it on one side hook the air chisel on this side and push all the copper out of it. The copper would go in one barrel, all the steel would go in another. I'm sure there, at this point, now what I know about life now, this probably recycling that copper, as well they should. 
So, yeah, I used to do that as a little kid. So if you liked that video, give me a thumbs up. Remember, subscribe if you haven't, because I do Jeep videos, car videos, motorcycle videos, all kinds of cool videos. So you want to make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of those videos. You guys in the comments have given me a lot of great ideas, and I've got me a little list going on. Plus, I've got my own little things I'm going to throw in here and there. So don't forget to leave me some more suggestions, because eventually I may run out of ideas, and I'm going to depend on you guys to keep this Whatever Wednesday going, okay? I'm having fun with this. Some of the comments you guys are leaving, you guys are having fun with it. So let's keep it going. Give me cool suggestions of stuff to tear apart, cut apart, whatever it is we got to do. And let's just have fun with it. Cool? All right. So everyone, I really appreciate you hanging out with me. Peace out. Later, y'all.